Um, what I find really valuable about environmental DNA or eDNA is that we can really quickly and with very few resources be able to identify many organisms that are in the ecosystems. My name is Nina, and I'm a postdoctoral investigator at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. There I work with Dr. Annette Govindarajan, who is a principal investigator studying deep sea biodiversity. Right now, I'm serving as a scientist leading an awesome team of environmental DNA researchers and students. Um, and we're here to collect samples so that we can better understand the biodiversity here in American Samoa. Environmental DNA is basically all the genetic material that we find in a given environment. And here we're studying the ocean around American Samoa. And so using the DAP lander, we can collect this environmental DNA in a couple different ways. One is using these bottles that you see behind us. These are called Niskin bottles. They go down into the water um, and then we can actually close the bottles to collect water at specific depths that we want to study. And then we bring them back on the deck and we have a fancy contraption of buckets and tubing and then take the water, filter out all the DNA that we can get from that water. Um, and that's what we keep and bring home with us. Now, the other way that we could use the DAP lander to collect eDNA is as a platform to load an autonomous eDNA sampler. Basically, instead of this whole contraption um, that we've got rigged up here, we have one little nifty sampler that we can bring down with the DAP and it can pump on its own autonomously. Um, so we just tell the DAP lander to say, um, let's pump for how much time, how many filters, and then once it comes up, we just take those filters and we're ready to go. These are our filters that we take off. Yep, you should. So you see how in the pump, they look like that. So the water is running through the filter. It's being pulled through by the peristaltic pumps and we're gonna capture all this material on the filters in here. So now um, we're going to bring this into the lab where it's more of a cleaner environment. And I will open it and show you what that all looks like um, and what we do with it afterwards. So hi, my name is Milan Thangta. I'm a second year PhD student at Lehigh University. And on NA164, I am part of the eDNA science team. These Watera filters that, as you can see, Nina is pipe cutting right here. At a certain depth, we start filtering water. So the water pumps in through and inside. There's this really, really cool accordion-like filter that catches all the eDNA and all the fun little stuff that we want. So we are mainly studying in the deep sea and the deep sea is already a really hard place to study. So environmental DNA is a really quick and easy technology to use to capture the biodiversity in the waters that we're trying to explore. Biodiversity in the ocean is really important for ecosystem function and even for our human livelihoods. And in many parts of the ocean, we don't really know what lives there because the ocean is large, it is really, really deep, and there's very few technologies that go down here. But on the ship, the EV Nautilus, and with all these different instruments that we have, like the DAP lander, we can reach these deep depths of the ocean and we can start to study these different organisms and, and life in the water.